everybody. I'm Tammy Carr. This right here is Jeremy Carr. We are Trucking with the Cars. We hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, click the notification bell, and join us on the journey. Hey drivers, let's not forget our back. So today's video, the purpose is to make sure we incorporate the lower back with the upper back in one movement. I got an idea. You know how we had two of the same bands? Yes. Cut no, don't. Wait a minute. What? Trust me. So in a previous video, I had shown how we can work our lower lumbar muscles with, our, with one band. So I had an idea how we can take two bands and work our whole entire back. Check it out. Extending and contracting the lower back muscles help us to stabilize, rotate, and flex the spine. When you have a strong back, you can move more safely. For better stabilization of our shoulder blades, this face pull down also gives us external rotation, which helps create space in our shoulder capsule, helping to relieve pain, also strengthening our upper back. Now let's put those two together. By Tammy holding the lower back in a contracted position, this isometric hold helps strengthen and stabilize her butt and lower back. Okay, seriously, I know y'all are thinking that last exercise looked crazy and you're gonna get crazy looks, but listen, honestly, if you really lock it in, you're gonna activate every muscle from your hamstring all the way to the top of your back. It is a killer movement. But if you don't have any bands, you can't get into the trailer, do a setup like this, we got a variation coming up for you. Don't click off. So for our lower back, obviously a deadlift, holding weight in front of us, picking it up, getting our, our lower lumbar muscles. So if we can add a row to it, get the upper back as well. So this is called a dead row. Deadlift row. 